Use the PICO format to formulate a clinical question to search for evidence. Evidence-Based Practice, or EBP, is the integration of best research evidence with clinical expertise and patient values. The five steps of EBP are Step 1. Work out what it is you want to know. Step 2. Identify the key concepts you're searching for. Step 3. Search for the evidence. Step 4. Appraise the evidence. Step 5. Putting evidence into practice. In this video, we'll look at the first three steps. Step 1. Working out what it is you want to know by formulating a clinical question. Step 2. Identifying the key concepts by converting your clinical question into a search strategy. And Step 3. Searching for the highest level of evidence that answers your clinical question. See our evidence-based practice in the Health Sciences Guide to learn more about the five steps and find links to further resources. PICO is an acronym for Patient, Intervention, Comparison and Outcome. We use the PICO format to extract the information from a clinical situation to focus on a particular question. P describes the patient, population or problem of interest. I is the intervention planned. For example, treatment with a particular drug, developing a management strategy, performing a diagnostic test, a treatment regime such as radiotherapy or chemotherapy, or referral to an allied health worker. C is the comparative intervention. Is there an alternative intervention or type of management strategy? There will not always be a comparison. The comparison may be to do nothing or take no action. O is the outcome. What is the desired outcome? What is the effect of the intervention? Our example scenario is if exercise therapy can reduce pain in patients suffering from degeneration of the knee, maybe we should recommend it for all our patients with osteoarthritis of the knee. If we apply the PICO model, it will look like this. P. Patients who suffer from osteoarthritis of the knee. I. Exercise therapy. C. Usual care. O. Reduce pain. Our clinical question becomes... In adults who suffer from degeneration of the knee, does exercise therapy help with reducing pain? We can now move to step two, where we identify the key concepts in our clinical question to formulate our search strategy. What are the key words? Degeneration, knee, exercise therapy. Remember to include synonyms, plurals, and alternative spellings. Consider different terminology used in different areas. Your search strategy would look like this. Exercise therapy or physical activity or aerobics or hydrotherapy in brackets and knee or palatofemoral or tibiofemoral in brackets and pain or osteoarthritis or degeneration in brackets. The brackets tell the database to search for these words first and then add the results of these to the next set of terms. Add an asterisk or truncation tool at the end of words to find plurals and alternative word endings. Degenerate with an asterisk will find degenerate, degenerates, degenerating or degeneration. The quotation marks will force the database to search for your terms as a phrase and not as individual words. Check the help section in the database before you search to see how the platform handles truncation, brackets and phrase searching. Modify your search if needed. Step 3 of EBP is to search for the highest level of evidence. There's a recognised hierarchy of reliability to use as a guide when considering the effectiveness of evidence. For therapy or intervention questions, the ideal source of evidence is a systematic review. Systematic reviews summarise the results from a large number of high-quality research studies. Close behind is a well-done randomised controlled trial. The Cochrane Library is an excellent place to start. If this proves unfruitful for the specific question you need answering, you should then conduct a search of articles published in scientific journals. A number of databases are available to assist you in searching for the literature. For example, PubMed and Embase. If the search for published literature proves unsuccessful, 
move down the hierarchy of evidence until you find some useful sources. A word of caution here, the lower down the hierarchy you go, the less reliable the evidence is likely to be. Our next videos will demonstrate searching for evidence in traditional and specialised databases, including PubMed, Embase, Sonal, Cochrane and Pedro.